Hello everyone, welcome back to day five of solving lead code problems until Fang hires me. Today we're gonna to be solving 2192, all ancestors of a node in a directed acyclic graph. Okay, so you're given a positive integer n representing the number of nodes of a directed acyclic graph, DAC, and the nodes are numbered from zero to n minus one inclusive. You're also given a 2D integer array edges. The notes that there is a undirectional edge from from to to in the graph. Return a list answer where answer i is the list of ancestors of the i-th node sorted in ascending order. Our first example, we have a big undirected graph here. We have the edges and nodes and we should be returning here output well zero doesn't have any parents right one doesn't have any parents for three its parents are zero and one okay so i can imagine again like using something like a hash map i feel i've been just saying hash map this past couple of days but i generally believe that could be a good idea in which like for example, we could have here just a, the hash map. Uh, we would start checking all the edges one, right? So three, we would add as a parent zero, right? Then we would just keep iterating, right? So we could have something like this, zero, probably just empty one, right? So from there on out, what we could simply do zero, it would be empty. So we would end up creating rest and we would append here this empty result. One, it would be an empty result as well. Then three, we would need to append the parents of zero plus zero, right? And the parents of one plus one, which in this case, it would just be zero, but it would have to be a recursive type of approach, even though not super recursive since we since we have already checked zero and one we know that the parents that we would have assigned here should be definite a complete list of parents because the for the elements after those we still don't have the complete set of the parents right so in this case we would just have zero and one and now for the fifth element we're going to have three so we're going to get all the parents of three which is going to be zero and one plus three. So we could keep doing this type of iterative approach. It would be a little recursive, but we could also use like a, a dynamic programming type array, in which we could save which ones we have already completed. So in this case, zero would have been true, one would have been true, but seven, right? seven would have been false so that means we would need to iterate through those yeah this could potentially work i'm just a little worried about the sorting mechanism that we could implement because but i guess we could just sort them out um, with the sorted functionality and hopefully that would be more than enough so let's just go ahead and try to code this up which is going to have empty lists. Now we should just uh, be able to start iterating. Once we have this, we would append the parents. And we'll just having said that, we would basically just then need to start doing our recursive approach using the DP array. And here we're simply going to do so for we would need something like a def get parents, right? In which we would just iterate through all of the elements. And we would also get the parents. Right? Return parents. And here simply we would also do so if hm so if dp at i is equal equal to true then simply return hm a die. I believe that would be it. Well, once we have the parents of all of these, 
we would simply need to do dp at i equals true. And having done this, we could actually, instead of doing this, we could just initialize here dp, where again, we're simply going to do for i and range of n, and we are going to do here hm at i is going to be equal to get parents at i. And then here simply return hm. Let me just move this over here so that it will look a little better. Let me see just if this would work. All right, so we have this for and range of n, right? So empty list and from two, append this plus par. And then we're actually just going to do here um, sorted. Of course, this was this. Okay, so we have a little bug here. It's not valid value for the expected return type. Yes, it's not printing anything. All right, so sorted set of this, we return HM and let's see if this works. And there we go. This algorithm beats around 88% of solutions.